All right, thanks, Rob. Well, the problem at our southern border, it's getting worse by, day by day, all as President Biden and the Secretary of Homeland Alejandro Mayorkas allow record numbers of people to illegally cross the border. Joining us now with details, who's a retired Texas Department of Public Safety Captain Jason Jones. Jason, good morning. Um, let's start with this. So, Jason, you sent us an exclusive video. Explain to us what's going on in the video. Sure, good morning. It's good to be with you this morning. Well, what you're seeing right now is 350 people yesterday morning that were surging across that southern border. And it's a really an example to the folks about what's really happening down there. Now, that began at midnight, even though the video only shows you 350 people, really 1,109 were apprehended by the time that ended. Wow. It's incredible what's happening down there. Yeah, and, and then, you know, meantime, yesterday, DHS Secretary Mayorkas, he discussed the latest numbers for July border crossings. Take a listen. Yeah. The rise in encounters of migrants at the southern border began in April of 2020, last year, but the increase is most certainly sharper over the past several months and greater than in June. Allow me uh, to share with you the CBP enforcement numbers for July. 212,672 persons were encountered attempting entry along the southwest border, a 13 percent increase over June 2021. And Jason, you heard he slipped in, you know, 2020 trying to put a jab to President Trump. Yeah. This is the most we've seen in more than 21 years, nearly three times as many in January when President Joe Biden took office. When will something be done to stop this? I don't know, and I'll tell you, I listened to his words very carefully yesterday. And what you continue to hear is this continued statement to the world about a safe and orderly process of bringing in migrants into the country and just repeating that and then building more capacity to handle more instead of discussing the national security implications and acknowledging what's happening down there. And that's what's driving this. So really what I saw from his statements yesterday is a pouring of gasoline on the fire. I have to tell you, I'm extremely concerned. 212,000 apprehensions in the month of July. I can't remember in my career to ever see that. And we have to remember these policies are destabilizing policies along that southern area where he was in, especially here in Texas. The county of Hidalgo has had to declare a state of emergency along with 34 other counties in Texas. So just like the video we just showed you to give the folks a real example of what's happening on the ground, we are seeing destabilizing events along that border. Yeah, Jason, it just doesn't seem like anything is getting better. Unfortunately, we're out of time, um, but we always appreciate you coming on the show, showing us what you see and sharing your insight. We really appreciate it. It's great to be with you. Thank you for having me. Of course. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.